This is the time I met David Carradine. Thank you for tuning into the Tom Patelson Show. Yeah, I wanted to tell you my David Carradine story because it's one of my favorite stories to tell. And when you live in Los Angeles, you meet a lot of famous people. They are everywhere. This is Hollywood, the industry, and whatnot. And sometimes I've gotten to work with them, and sometimes you just run into them. Uh, I've been a fig. I've been, I've been a big fan of David Carradine uh, growing up. Gen X. Uh, I saw him as Kwai Chang Kane from TV's Kung Fu until Death Race 2000, where he played the original Frankenstein. I saw that on Cinemax uh, back in the day. And then he plays the villain opposite Chuck Norris in Lone Wolf McQuaid. And he's in one of my favorite Westerns of all time. My brother John and I love the movie The Long Riders, and he plays Cole Younger. And everything David Carradine says in that movie is brilliant and amazing. You love him in that movie, he's so great. And then of course, in Quentin Tarantino's immaculate, crazy good Kill Bill Volume 1 and 2, he's Bill. So this happened between 2004 and 2009 when he passed away when I was working in a restaurant in Encino. I had the night off, but a friend of mine was working and she said, it's dead in here. Uh, she texted me, it's dead in here. You want to come and hang out? I've got nothing to do. The restaurant is separate from the bar, so there was no one in the bar. I went to go visit her, and sure enough, uh, while we're there, there's no one in the bar. There's no one in there. I'm sitting at the bar by myself, and this is back in my drinking days, so I was having a beer, uh, and I'm sitting there by myself, doing nothing. When out of nowhere, a hand comes on my shoulder and sits down next to me is none other than Kill Bill himself. David Carradine is sitting there. How you doing? Oh my God, I couldn't, I couldn't believe it. I, I, was, I was awestruck. He was wearing a, a tan suede jacket or leather jacket. I can't remember. I think this is it. Um, I couldn't find another picture that looks like it. I think that's it. It's, it's very similar to this jacket, if not this exact jacket. And I said, uh, oh, uh, not much, Mr. Carradine. Uh, what are you doing? Oh, you know. But the, he just stared into the mirror. He ordered a shot of Stoli. He's just staring into the mirror. And I didn't know what to say. And I said, well, don't keep me in suspense, Mr. Carradine. Uh, what you got going on? And he finally turned. Huh. Then David Carradine looked at me and then back to the mirror and said this. I'm sorry, man. I don't hear too good. What with all the guns and the rock and roll? Yeah, he said that. What do you, what do I say to that? With all the guns and the rock and roll, what could I possibly say to that? Oh my God. What a crazy, wonderful, bad thing to say. And now he's sitting there, I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say, I don't know what to do, I don't want the conversation to end. But sadly, three seconds after he said that, there was a voice from the corridor that said, David, are you in here? We're outside. We're in the car, we're ready to go. David looked at me and said, I'll see you around. And he got up and he left, put his hand on my shoulder on his way out. What a crazy thing to have happen. You think about meeting famous people and you want it to be a big thing. And people give celebrities a hard time because they'll meet them once at a coffee shop and maybe they're not having a good day and then someone says, oh, that, that Dustin Hoffman's a real jerk. Well, maybe he had a bad day. You only met him once for a couple of seconds. I met David Carradine for minutes at most, and it was the crazy, wonderful, crazy, amazing, famous story ever. I absolutely love telling my David Carradine story. I regret none of it. It was perfect. It was a perfect moment. It's time for a shout out. I haven't done a shout out in a while. This is from Subspace Rhapsody, my video discussing that episode on Star Trek Strange New Worlds. Trevor Tidbits 859 says, 
I love this episode. Strange New Worlds has been hitting it out of the park. Season one had genre mixing episodes as well. I like the fantasy storybook episode. I like that one too. That remind me a lot of the uh, the Robin Hood episode from uh, Next Gen and a lot of the uh, the original episode, uh, the original series as well. It's giving backstories to characters, and thus the season we had drama, time travel, comedy, horror, and a musical. Right? I say it's perfect. I also really love what they're doing with the Gorn. And you know what? I don't want to see an inverse reason why they look different. We're all aware of the advancements in technology. Just go with it, Trevor. I agree with you wholeheartedly on this. It's the way I felt about it when they showed the Klingons in uh, season one of Discovery. They look like that now? Great. Whatever. Oh, well, now they're back. Now they're back looking like the Klingons we know from the next generation. Great. I don't need to know any of that. They're going to change the Gorn. They're going to make them this really crazy, terrifying species. I'm just going with it. In for a penny, in for a pound. Trevor, I agree with you. That'll do it for this week, but not before we do a little way out. We haven't done a way out in quite a while, and this one has to do with my David Carradine story. When you meet somebody and realize you're going to meet somebody for a brief amount of time. You don't know what they've been through in their life. You don't know what they've been through that day. You don't know what just happened to them. Cut people some slack when you meet them and know that whatever they're going through is whatever they're going through. Try and give people the benefit of the doubt. And I, uh, it's a hard thing to do. That's a hard thing to do. But it is a way out that we know each other and realize that, that life is hard. Life is full of lots of challenges, and we're not always, we're not always our best. Sometimes we're going to come off as a, as a little rough. So, give everybody the benefit of the doubt as this way out. Thanks for tuning in. Really appreciate you listening to my David Carradine story. Like and subscribe if you like this content, and uh, yeah, hit that notification bell so you know when my stuff drops. It drops on Sunday. Till I see you next time, as always. Peace, love, live long, and prosper. I